This is the only person individually operating a section of China's Great Wall. Over 10 years ago, Yang Yongfu responded to government calls to protect and restore crumbling sections of the National Monument. This portion is the westerly end of the wall, built in the Ming Dynasty, which ended 300 years ago. Thanks to Yang's efforts, it's become a tourist spot. At the beginning, people didn't understand why I took on this enormous project. They called me crazy. Young poured $800,000 of life savings and borrowed money into the project. Now he and his wife welcome 20,000 people annually. He has a phenomenal work ethic and can bear a lot of hardship. His efforts are appreciated, though. Visitors pay the $4 entry fee to ascend almost a kilometre to the top for a clear view of the main competitor, a 7.5-kilometre stretch run by the government. I can't tell the difference. It's basically the same as the other sections. But this could be the end of Yang's role as war custodian. In recent years, Chinese authorities have become much more possessive over the country's heritage. The Communist Party uses nationalism as part of its claim to a right to rule. A law introduced after Yang's restoration work gave the government the exclusive right to manage national relics, making the couple illegal gatekeepers. Yang and the authorities entered negotiations for them to buy out his privileges, but failed to reach a deal. I never received any support from the government, and they accused me of constructing a fake wall. That's what makes me angry. Yang is still $160,000 in debt. But he says renovating the wall was an act of patriotism, and he has no regrets.